My name is Michael McCracken. I'm the principal at Ainer High School. This is my 22nd year in education. I have been principal here for seven years and I've been in administration for 17. My dream when I was eight years old was I was going to become a weather guy, meteorologist. And from the time I was eight, I was infatuated with it. My dream to become a meteorologist kind of shifted once I graduated high school and uh, ended up getting a math degree and a minor in journalism and ended up at Coastal Carolina University and through some very influential mentors and uh, influential people in my life, they directed me toward education. I was a math teacher at Carolina Force High School for five years prior to becoming an administrator. I came into the profession through critical needs, which means I did not go to school to be a teacher. So it was quite an experience uh, transitioning in, into education. I am a graduate of Ainer High School and generations of my family came here. Um, I remember at the time when I came to school here, it was grades 7 through 12. I have three older brothers and all of them of course graduated from Ainer and I remember the activities, the sports, um, the events that they were involved in. I remember looking up to them and, and the tradition that's here at, at Ainer High School and in our community and I remember thinking, I want to do that. I want to be involved in the things they were involved in. And so uh, the rich tradition here um, impacted me, and I think it continues to impact students today. A lot of the parents uh, that have students and children here now, many of them I went to school with. And so that's really rewarding when they come back and we can have those conversations and they know me. They know that I care about kids and that I care about people, even though being a principal is a tough job. At the end of the day, they know my heart, and my heart is that I love kids, and I love children, and I love this school, and I love this place. My family is everything to me. They're my, my wife is, I, I tell her all the time, she's a saint. She is actually a stay-at-home mom. She graduated from Clemson University with, a, with an engineering degree. But um, as our children were born, her passion was, I want to be at home and raise my kids. So that's an extra blessing because the principal life is a very busy, very difficult uh, life. And so having my wife at home, going home to uh, a wonderful meal and a wonderful atmosphere where we sit down and we're able to talk at dinner every night. Uh, and um, that's, that's phenomenal, and that's something she wanted to do. That was her passion. I have been happily married for 20 years, and my wife and I have three sons. David is 15, Luke is 14, and Caleb is 11. My oldest son is a ninth grader here at Ainer High School, so the tradition continues. We make it a point every summer to take our kids and go somewhere. And so uh, our downtime involves a lot of uh, uh, rest and relaxation. <laughs> but we also like, uh, I'm a very uh, uh, avid tennis player. Uh, my kids are soccer players. A lot of times we just spend time walking. Uh, we have a, a big pond near our house where we go fishing. So we love to go fishing and catch fish and fry those fish. I think my path that I took uh, that was different from what I had initially wanted to do uh, has helped me um, it's helped me see that I've got a lot to learn and anyone anybody that knows me knows that I'm always learning I, I'm always reading I'm always attending some conference or professional development and it's not because I have to it's because I really want to learn and grow and so I take that approach with my staff too that we, we can learn and grow. We never stop learning and growing. And then that trickles right down to our students. I want my students to have the best opportunity to be exposed to not just content, but to be exposed to the, the joy of learning and the joy of discovering.